Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of AirTame. This is a wireless HDMI display adapter that is marketed for B2B, so for businesses, schools, and other public institutions to pick up for presentations um, and as a learning tool. Uh, and its software is also you know, more designed for that, for presentations um, and uh, for teaching in particular, compared to something like for instance, Chromecast, which is only for media streaming. Uh, so the AirTame does have a slightly pricier uh, cost. It fills a specific niche and it retails for $300 for a single unit. That seems expensive at first, but historically wireless HDMI uh, dongles and adapters have always been expensive. You can see larger, bulkier boxed units uh, that uh, plugs into the HDMI port onto a television and the other side needs to be plugged into your computer for the wireless process to work. And that kind of sells for $200 to $300 depending on the brand on Amazon currently. So the price in that regard isn't too far off. This is something that's definitely is still a little bit pricey at the moment um, and not geared as exclusively for consumers. Um, the special thing about AirTame though is it doesn't require you to plug in anything onto your smartphone or computer for it to work. Uh, you simply need the adapter which plugs into the TV and then this thing can connect to the internet uh, and then once everything is on the same network, you're able to mirror content from your computer screen. It works with Mac, uh, Windows, and Linux. Um, it also will mirror your screen using AirDrop on iOS. However, for Android, uh, it still requires uh, some development. Uh, there's an app that uh, is promised to be released soon, but at the moment you can only push specific documents, presentations, and images through their app uh, from Android, and not you're not able to completely mirror everything from Android OS. So uh, that's something to quickly keep in mind. Otherwise, when it's not actively streaming anything into the AirTame, uh, the dashboard allows you to display specific wallpapers, uh, such as a logo from a company or a university, and it's, uh, it also features encryption, so WPA2 Enterprise uh, for extra security security, again, which are important for businesses and institutions. Um, also makes, again, a good tool for classrooms where teachers are able to instantly share their documents and slideshows onto the unit in a very uh, dedicated and specific app, which I'll show you in a moment. So this is what it looks like uh, on the back, the packaging here. This is a design in Denmark, assembled in Europe, uh, hence the slightly higher cost as well, because it's not you know, manufactured and designed in China. Uh, and at the same time, this is something that was originally released through Kickstarter. Uh, in the past few months. So packaging here, you can see the uh, AirTame has already seen quite a few updates to the software from what I'm able to see on forums. So the company uh, is keeping up in terms of making everything more, more usable and improving upon the user experience, which is nice to see. It's constantly evolving. Um, so here is the steps, plug it into the TV, connect it to power, and then go to setup.airtime.com to download the software for the first time or to set up the AirTime itself. Uh, the size of this thing, you know, interesting enough, really is about the same as a larger you know, USB dongle, USB stick, or the Chromecast, and it has a pretty good polycarbonate uh, build quality that has the company's logo. The side here features a micro USB port for power. Uh, you do have to plug it into power at all times. There's a power key for resetting uh, and turning it back on, and on the back some basic uh, serial number information. In the box we have the charging adapter, so plugging this into the wall, there's also a few different prongs that you get for Europe, for Asia, and different countries, and this, is, this just has a simple USB port on the other side. There is a standard micro USB cable for power, uh, has a pretty good cable length here, and there's also an extender for the HDMI port if you want to uh, not plug it directly onto the back of a TV, but kind of dangle it off if it's harder to reach, so there's an accessory, and there's also a quick start guide as well that uh, kind of tells you about the warranty information in the setup. Here's the boot up screen when you turn it on for the first time. It says to get started, you should download the app at airtame.com slash setup. And there are two ways that you can set this up. The first is using a computer, you can add your home's router information so that the Airtame is connected to your network. And afterwards, your computer or phone just needs to be on the same network and you can transfer content over to the dongle. The second way is connecting your phone directly to the Airtame's Wi-Fi information. So the Airtame is sending out its own uh, you know, mini Wi-Fi signal and you simply need to connect to it on the Wi-Fi settings of your device. So I'm going to demonstrate the second way first. I have a tablet over here and turning on Wi-Fi, uh, it's going to attempt to connect to the AirTame and I've already entered the password information which is showing up on screen right now and it says that it's successfully connected. 
So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you guys the Android app first. So here I have it downloaded. It's called Airtame. It's a free download in the store. And what this app allows me to do is view back, again, documents, slideshows, and content, as well as uh, transfer it over. So the interface is very simple. Again, it's straightforward. It's designed for businesses, which is why you see the focus is going to be on documents or images. And if I tap on images on my phone, you can see I have quite a few notes that I wrote and sketched out. And if I'm interested in taking a look at one of these, I can then tap on the image here and it becomes uh, casted over to the display. I can also switch the orientation and that will also flip uh, itself accordingly on the display. Uh, other things that you can do using the uh, device is you can zoom in, pinch in and pinch out, and it will also change those settings on the screen. Overall, the resolution seems pretty good, close to what the original gives. There's a small delay. For example, if I pinch in here, you can see there's a split delay, but overall it's not crippling at all. And for presentations, it really doesn't get in the way. From this application interface, I also can tap on play and that will cycle through all the images or documents that I have. So it puts it through into a mock slideshow that I can then tie myself to. Tapping on the plus key, I can enter into the presentation mode and that uh, I can either uh, dim the display in the back or you know, turn it back on. Uh, to tap on play, it will begin the slideshow and then this is the first slide and it will automatically time itself going forward. So it's very similar to something like Microsoft PowerPoint or uh, Google Slides, uh, but in a format that's uh, more useful for offline content. For comparison, here's the Airtame app for iOS. You can see it looks very similar, but there's also the ability to look at files from Dropbox if you're signed into your account. Um, and uh, what you're able to share by directly connecting your phone to the same uh, network as the uh, Airtame is limited to the same content as the Android version, which is again photos and files stored on your phone. In order to mirror your display and to have everything shown from your uh, you know, phone or iPad onto the big screen. So if I'm browsing the web, if I want to play a game and then mirror that onto the projector screen here, I have to uh, first set it up using the computer. Now we're looking at the full desktop mirroring mode, which is what makes Airtame unique. Uh, you can't get that with any streamer like Chromecast, which only does video. So this is, uh, again, what allows you to also show your computer desktop if you're running a script, a code, uh, or traditional PowerPoint files on your computer or web page, you can then share it comfortably. Uh, so again, you can do this in two ways as well. First, you need to download the application by searching on Google Airtame, and then you would download the app, and this is what it looks like. Uh, afterwards, when you double tap on it, uh, it will pop open and it tells you to connect to the uh, same Wi-Fi network as the Airtame, uh, or you can also connect to the Airtame's, again, uh, Wi-Fi information directly. So this is actually what we're doing right now. We're connected to the Airtame directly. And from here, I can also search up other Airtame devices. I can stop the casting, so that will uh, stop the session. I can tap on start and that will begin it once more. I can also mute the sound if I want to. And you can see that although there is a small delay about a split second, maybe one uh, or one second behind, overall it's still relatively smooth. And uh, again, it's pretty uh, impressive for a completely wireless and such a portable wireless HDMI dongle. Uh, so again, the benefits of this, if I have, let's say, a browser tab open, I can be uh, sharing something that I like. Uh, and then of course, instantly it's uh, pulled over to the big screen uh, in full, uh, HD resolution. I can also be looking at files on my PC and that will work as well. So again, there's quite a few applications that you can do with this, especially for businesses. Now, it's not necessarily quite as ideal for things like gaming because again, there's that slight latency delay uh, with that wireless transmission process. Uh, so if you need the smoothest frame rate, obviously it's still gonna be best if you have a direct HDMI connection. But again, this is mostly meant for businesses. It's meant for that uh, peace of mind where you have it set up uh, at perhaps a conference table and then anyone coming in to give a presentation doesn't even have to think twice. They're just in the same network and they can instantly press a button and they can share things on the big screen without fumbling around with cables and uh, slowing down the process. So it can really be a worthwhile investment for schools and in particular for businesses. So here's the tab here that I can uh, minimize that tells me it's sharing my screen. I can also start this program automatically uh, when my computer starts uh, the next time as well. So you can play around with some more of these settings down below here. Uh, you can also get full control of streaming settings if you wanna turn this on. You can change the video quality. The frame rate is 20 frames per second by default. I can change it to 60 frames per second. So you do have some granularity in terms of controlling those things. So that's the Airtame, a wireless HDMI adapter that uh, works pretty well for presentations and for streaming video as well. It's smooth 
smooth uh, for resolutions up to 4K in my testing so far. Uh, the software itself actually seems to be quite polished and the setup process is very good. Uh, there are two ways to connect it as you saw. You can connect directly onto the dongle uh, from your smartphone or you can connect a dongle to a network and then connect your laptop or smartphone to the same network. Um, everything is actually pretty polished and I can see how it's extremely useful for schools, for businesses if you're always giving presentations for meetings, things like that. So I want to repeat that this is a product for B2B and not necessarily for consumers even though it does still work for streaming uh, media uh, and video files. Uh, something that I want to point out as well that differentiates Airtime from something like the Chromecast is the ability to mirror the screen completely and for it to work with more than just Android OS. It works with Mac, it works with Windows, it works with Linux, and the fact that you can share the entire display uh, is quite powerful, again, for presentations as well as for specific programs that you want to demonstrate without having lots of dangling wires back and forth. Uh, that also saves you the time. So this is something that you can check out more uh, on their website and also in our article coming out soon. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been Airtime, the wireless HDMI adapter.